Hello and welcome to Follow Me and Die. I'm Larry and today I'm getting back to my series Roll 20 for the Absolute Beginner. Today I want to just do a quick tip for GMs on putting notes on the GM layer to help with the flow of the game. As you can see I've got a map up here and I have Fog of War on, thus the light gray, and you can see there's a player icon and I've got a triangle representing a room and a small triangle representing a door and we have a lock icon representing the door is locked and a secret door icon representing a secret door those icons I built myself with tips from Taking 20, the Roll20 Master Series for making map tokens or map markers for free. Uh, in the game I run on Sundays, I had the idea to put some notes on a large map on the GM layer so that I wouldn't have to keep shuffling through papers trying to find my notes for a specific room. I found that very helpful. They don't have to have a lot of detail, just enough to keep the game flowing. And as you can see here, I have a locked door and a note on that door indicating that it's a high quality lock and there's a penalty on rolls to try to open it. I then have another note about room contents. Just insert your own room contents. And then a note about the secret door and how it's activated with a certain sequence of colored stones inset into the wall. And as you'll notice, there's a different color to the notes. Let me switch over to the player view and you'll see there's a problem. This lets me know that I don't have the note about the locked door and the room contents on the GM layer. You can click on it so that lets you know it's on the token layer. So if you come back to the GM layer. Be sure you click on the arrow. You can send it to the GM layer and then you see it's no longer visible to the players. So that's a very helpful tip. Uh, an additional tip, whatever you put or intend to put on the GM layer, sign in as a player and obviously up here you have rejoin the game as player. Uh, I don't have it where you can see it. Click on the gear and you'll have the option to rejoin as player. Make sure that the players can only see what they can see. Uh, I had a small boo-boo in my game a few week, several weeks ago that I had room numbers that I had on either the map layer or the token layer so the players were saying 25 what's that and so I had to hurriedly go through and hide all those so you have to be careful the more things you've got going on on your maps the more things you've got to keep track of and it's always a good idea to go back and check but as you can see uh, you can have as much detail or as little detail as you need to help you keep the game flowing uh, if it's something that is a little more intricate you want to remember like room contents or how the secret door works or that there's a certain mechanical difference to the locked door you can do that uh, and so that's my quick tip for today if you have any suggestions for other quick tips you'd like to see or other topics you'd like me to cover in my roll 20 for the absolute beginner series please share in the comments below Thank you for watching, and game on!